it's almost impossible to ignore the pressures that U.S. healthcare startups have today, whether it be on the financing side, regulatory, or reimbursement. You've got to reassess the whole, all your paradigms of how to run a company and be willing to look. Do you go offshore? Do you raise money from different sources, et cetera? We're living in a world where we spend $5 trillion on health care. Uh, roughly one out of every three dollars is considered waste. What you see now is almost all physicians believe and are taking action because they don't think the status quo is acceptable. I think this is going to be the most exciting decade in healthcare in probably all of our lives, and I think we're going to figure out sort of the cost equation come hell or high water, some way, somehow. We're moving people from patients to consumers. I think it's going to be very hard to change uh, healthcare without deeply engaging the patients. The old questions were how many patients can you see? The new question is how many patients' problems can you solve? The old question was how do you get people to get their prevention? The new question is how do you create systems that optimize the fact that patients will get their prevention? <laughs>
going to have a period of a decade, I think, of more rapid change. And I believe that productivity is going to be the big theme across all of the players in the healthcare value chain is, you know, how to get more productivity through re-engineering re the labor inside the system, through redesigning the processes, through creating more transparent and effective markets. And ultimately, that's going to lead towards following prices, uh, more reliable outcomes, and a better experience for both people in the system who work in it, who are frustrated today, and patients who are, should be frustrated by the way the system treats them. A couple of, of things that, that uh, we're seeing as trends that I think are um, particularly important. One is this real blurring of lines between what is a provider and what is a payer, and um, you know, whether it be physicians or hospitals or insurance groups. I mean, we found our only abilities over the last couple of years to reduce the cost of care and to improve quality and to engage patients has been when we've come together um, with these organizations and when we've not tried to do things on our own. There's some common themes. We all want to um, see greater value in healthcare. We think there's waste in healthcare. We think there's better ways to organize. We think there's better reimbursement systems. But I do think there will be diversity in approaches. I think consumers will want different things. I think markets will be different. Um, and, and we'll see some variety. Healthcare, um, for one reason or another, um, does not tend to think very well about scalability. When they think about, even when people innovate in healthcare, they think about, well, I can do this for 100 people, or I can do this for 1,000 people, or I can do this for 10,000 people, yet the need is for a million people, or 10 million people, and people, or 100 million people, and people do not system, systematically think about kind of how to scale things up in healthcare. So that'd be something, I think there's opportunity there. Being an entrepreneur is definitely, I can say it's the first time, but it's not easy. I mean, it's something you, you have to have a passion for. The future is so hard to predict, and uh, uh, you just have to believe in it. I'm sure that uh, many of you uh, in the audience have been doing health innovation since long before it was cool, and that is absolutely fantastic. Um, and uh, thank you so much for doing that. And so I would say you have an amazing, shimmering opportunity to bring us into the light. And I feel so privileged to even be sitting with you. Make the best of this. And thank you.